All right, Father's Day coming up in the mix. Go ahead. Oh, you'd like that sushi. Oh, yeah, this is my favorite food uh, You love your sushi. We've done here. Uh, <laughs> so let me get through the mix quickly. Uh, Father's Day coming up. ThingsRemember.com put together this list. They did a survey, the top movie dads out there. Okay. You, can you, do you have a favorite that you can think of right now? Oh, a favorite movie From the movie? Dad? Yeah. Steve Martin, maybe? From Father, Father the Father Bride, the right? Yes, yeah. that is a good one. Is it a good one? He's not in the top no. five. Let's go oh. with the top five here. Uh, this is probably my number no. one. <laughs> He's a great dad. He'll take somebody oh. out for you. Yes, of course, that's Don Corleone from uh, The Godfather. Then Gregory Peck in uh, Kill a Mockingbird, Adam uh -huh. Finch. We have George Bailey, of course, in oh, It's a of Wonderful course, Life. This yeah. character, James Stewart. And then the next one, number two, Mufasa. Oh, Mufasa. How could forget Mufasa? Of course. Mufasa's only number two. Number one, though. Look mm. at this. Drum roll. Yes. Oh. Uh, Chevy Chase, Clark Griswold. Uh, hard to say why, yeah. but it, you, we got nostalgia there. People yes, like nostalgia. Guy. Yes. That's a good list. That's a good list. You know, you often complain, Teach, about how There's it's a lot so, of stuff. Right? Yeah, but one of your top complaints is when you wear your cowboy boots in the summer, oh, yeah. you hate that your feet sweat, feet right? Feet hot, yeah. Yeah, and so here's a good alternative for you. There's a cobbler in Missouri who took away the material surrounding the toe and the arch of the foot. So you can keep your ankles warm and your feet cool and dry. You can get these boots. They're called redneck cowboy boots for a low price. Give me the name again. Redneck cowboy boots. Okay. Up your alley. All for a low, low price of $50. Okay, those men and women wear those? Scotty Franklin. You want a pair, Jack? Well, but they're men and women or just the women shoes? You know, I bet you could do them for men and women. I don't know. Is that a man shoe? It could be a man shoe. We'll get you a pair. You can no, try them out on I, the side. Do you know I have cowboy boots? Would do you, you really? I was, yes. I was teasing him, of course. Of course, course I, I, I did. Pair really. Ariat. I dare you Square to bring toe. I yes. dare you to bring in your cowboy boots. You dare me. It's not a big deal. All right, bring oh, them cool. in. I'd like to see them. Okay, wait, let's do one more here. Uh, zookeepers having a good time with Jurassic World. Um, they, of course, deal with their own type of animal, not as wild as the ones in the in the movie, Jurassic World. Now, this is a scene. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you may have seen this scene. There's been a lot of promotional stuff. But they're going around now, and they're recreating this. Let me show you some of the pictures. Zookeepers are coming up. Look at that. There's are those walruses? Or those are walruses, yeah. yes. So they are coming up with their own. Now we got chickens. No, come on. Uh, and the last one, we got one more. Who else do we have here? Ostriches. Ostriches. Yeah. So people are having fun with this Very now. Nice. It's become a thing among zookeepers. To no, you know the movie's doing well when people are mimicking scenes from your movie. Yeah. And zookeepers are the only ones that can do that. We yeah. can't necessarily round up chickens. We could round up producers. Yeah, we are always trying to keep them at bay. <laughs> Somehow they always disappear. More news coming up. <laughs>